preparation, the rookies came up to me and said, Coach, we've been in a lot of big games in our life. You don't understand, NCAA championship, NCAA tournament. We know what big games are all about. I looked down and went, oh, yeah? Okay. The first game we played at Indiana, they must have beat us by, like, 40 that night. We were in the locker room after the game, and I said, so much for your big-time games, you <laughs> three. <laughs> They're I, big time, but they're not this big time. I couldn't blame it on the on, on, uh, Zadrunas Elkowskis because he didn't go to college <laughs> in the United States. 99 to 64. How do you recover, though? You head back home if you're Utah. You're 25 and 18. There, what are the adjustments that you need to make against a team that tonight that did everything that they wanted to do? They shot the three. They got out in transition. They finished. Look, as a coach, you've got to not only play for the immediate time of this particular series. You're also building here for your future. You understand how young so many of these players are. So you've got to get their spirits up, their head up. I mean, that particular team I talked about after being destroyed in game one by Indiana came back the next night and lost at the buzzer. In fact, they had the last shot to win the game. We just missed a wide open jump shot and they lose the game by two points. But at least it was a building process. The confidence with, hey, we can compete with this team. That's what you have to get these guys believing. Cantor climbs up and grabs a rebound. Of course, following us, game two of the doubleheader with the Clippers and, and Memphis. And turnover here. Neal ahead to Patty Mills. Mills. And with the finish, it's 101-66. Of course, the Grizzlies are going to have to respond after having the lead. Sizable lead as Cantor finishes on the inside. And how will they come out in game two? With 533 remaining in the fourth quarter. The Spurs leading the way. The Clippers and Grizzlies game two immediately following. Long night for the Utah Jazz. And the coach of the year, Greg Popovich, third all time in playoff wins. And a move to 110 behind Phil Jackson, who has 229, and Pat Riley with 171. And let's go back to Ernie Johnson in Atlanta. Back here in Beatdown Central, here's what's going on on NBA TV. Orlando at home being crushed by Indiana, 76 to 55, closing seconds of the third quarter. Let's go back to you guys. Maybe a little, a little more super tramp out of the Mike Fratello CD collection. <laughs> that, that's actually uh, the eight track. The eight track that you uh, carry with you. We appreciate you bringing that. Super tramp, as uh, EJ said. He's just frustrated having to deal with the studio guys. <laughs> well, he liked the, the grease board. And, and now super tramp and the eight track. We'll have more of that for you on Saturday night. Ernie, the, uh, the grease board. Yeah, we're seeing this performance, exceptional performance by San Antonio with foul there on Steven Jackson. But since 1997, Matt, this Spurs franchise has won over 69%, 69.6 exactly, percent of their games. It's the highest winning percentage in all of professional sports since 1997. A few championship banners up there started in 1999 in that lockout shortened season and game two immediately following here on TNT Blake Griffin and Rudy Gay and how will the Memphis Grizzlies at home respond after collapsing down the stretch in game one Give me this game coming up between the Clippers and Grizzlies I think will be a very physical extremely hard fought first six seven minutes of that game as the Clippers will try to pick up where they left off understanding they can't fall behind by another 25 27 points and the Grizzlies obviously want to come out and show their home crowd that they're not going to let the second one get away and this one got away from Tyrone Corbin in Utah early on they were able to cut it to five 31 26 but in San Antonio this one on a major run and it hasn't stopped a 22 to 2 run to end the half. Burks right to 
the rim. Carroll to clean up. 112-78. A long night for Utah and for the San Antonio Spurs. Not only when you look at Duncan, 27 minutes with a double-double. Parker, 28 minutes, 18 points, 9 assists. Ginobili, 19 minutes. Duncan and Parker not even playing in the fourth quarter. Thiago Splitter able to rest that left wrist now. They're going to have a couple of days before they play Saturday night in Salt Lake. Seven Spurs in double figures tonight. After that three, it's 114-81. Parker, Leonard, Duncan, Green, Diaw, Neal, and Blair. Perks with a slam dunk. And this one was over early. And how will this youthful Utah Jazz team respond on Saturday night? They know what's in front of them. San Antonio, 10 of 22 from downtown. 29 fast break points tonight. 62 points in the paint. Ties a.